their debut album, Opposite Ends of the Earth. Uh, we heard their uh, single at the current single tonight, earlier tonight. <laughs> it's all right. I wasn't attempting that to be funny. Don't feel, don't feel sorry for me. Now you can. Thank you. All right, well, the Big Brother finish line draws ever closer, and these two just stumbled and fell flat on their faces Sunday night. <laughs> With a surprise eviction. Ooh, here's how it went down. It's time to go, Claire. It's time to go, Crystal. <laughs> Please welcome our penultimate Big Brother evictees, Claire and Crystal. <laughs> What on earth happened? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. We haven't had time to question it. We've just been flat chat since. Have you? You must have. <laughs> since you've got out, you must have just been sitting back going, what happened? What did, was there something we did wrong? Is there no, something they no. did right? Well, have you got any <laughs> idea why? Why the, the two people that nobody knows, <laughs> I can't even remember their names. One's got curly hair and one's got a stud in his tongue. <laughs> Didn't get burned out Sunday night. Okay. What happened, girl? Um, my way of looking at it is that they were passionate about either love or hate. So um, either way, we were recognised. So yeah, all the yeah. interviews you got, we got since yeah. we've been out has kind of been. So those two new guys. What are their names again? So can you yeah. tell us what their names are? We're it, like, it's a compliment. That's so all you voted yeah. them in over us. Yeah, yeah. it's I crazy. Don't know. It's fun though. I mean, come on, I'm with Crystal. Now, that must have been nice. That must have been nice. Yeah, it the was. Better you can share the experience oh, together. We've had a ball so far. We just, we've just been... Heaps just, of fun. Just sort of jumping off one another, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Bouncing off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jumping off the Okay, bouncing off Young one boys one. all over the country. <laughs> just <laughs> keep it. <laughs> Thank you, you know very much. Mean, right? Now, something, uh, Crystal, I've uh, noticed Sunday night. We've got two shots here. This is you in the eviction room, right? <laughs> this is you when you made it to the stage live a few minutes later. You changed <laughs> outfits. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, happened? How is that possible? Well, they told me I should wear the black one, and because I don't listen to anyone, I thought, I'll bring the white thing just in case. And then I thought, if I get evicted, I'll change. So, of course, I changed because I don't listen to anyone. But anyway, that's how it goes. That's a pretty much how so it went. So you've, you've got it with you, or did you run back inside and get changed? No, I had it with me. I, I'm prepared. Definitely. I thought, <laughs> now it's double. I could go. Like, if Claire's going, it says something about it. Like, I'm like, Claire, how can she go? Oh, I'm going for sure. Like, yeah. Now, did we you both... guys watch uh, last night's Daily Show to see the reactions of all the other housemates? Um, no, we didn't watch the Daily Show. We watched the we noms. We watched it at night. Daddy. That night we kind of stuck around and we got to watch the screens constantly. So we got yeah. to see the reactions then and there as it sort of happened. So yeah. do you feel sorry for the other two guys whose names we don't even know? With the, when, they, like, <laughs> when they walk back into well, the house? Well, apparently we've been hearing a lot of, you know, we want Max to win because... Yeah, to put a spanner be, in the it'd works. It'll be amusing, blah, 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 put a spanner in the works, yeah. he's a dark horse and et cetera, et cetera. So well, at, at this point, uh, being so close to the finish line, is anyone really thinking about the prize money anymore? Um, to oh be honest, no. it's, it's... I mean, it's granted, hard, there isn't question. any prize money anymore. <laughs> I think the winner gets 50 by cents. By the time, uh, another week, it'd probably be like, I don't know, 50 bucks left or something like that. <laughs> Well, we if, all, if Jamie and Camilla have got anything to do with it. We're all saying so. at the start, at the rate we're going, we're going to be owing Big Brother money. So yeah. I think the, the sort of novelty of winning kind of died off because we're all like, well, we don't want to owe Big Brother money if we win. <laughs> so the novelty of winning kind of died halfway yeah. through. And Had, what's going on with David? Um, what's I mean, if he's not doing on? his, I'm out, Big Brother, I'm out! <laughs> he's doing his, oh, yeah. what? It's Big Brother David, not the final scene from the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty much his all game. This was all over the you. I know. It's not his game. game. <laughs> I think so. It's my sense. It gives Claire's booze pretty much a lot of attention. Compared to what about Sheree. my personality? Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. That's right. Now, uh, Claire, I know you, you, were, you weren't that upset to be evicted. No. Uh, because there is obviously the, the feeling that you get to catch up again with your, your loved ones on the outside. Definitely. When you're so close to the end, is it that weird feeling of 
look, a couple more weeks and, and I'm, I'm here I, and I yeah. can win this thing. But at the same time, it's, it's been so long without my, my family and friends yeah. that I am also happy to go. Is it a weird feeling to be going through? Oh, it definitely is. And I know for obviously being in there three months, it was pretty much three months and one day when me and Crystal left, it was like three months of our lives. We've been bored in this compound. It was sort of a bit of a bizarre concept. And it's the last couple of weeks, it's like, you can do it. It's got to end soon. It's got to end soon. But when I came out and realised there was only a week left, it was like... Wow, it was really, really yeah. close. It was kind of a bizarre feeling. But, yeah, I went in there just to enjoy the experience. And I think every single housemate said that they expected only to last a couple of weeks because you, you are your own worst critic. So we all kind of went in there saying, oh, yeah, we're only going to last two weeks. So to say that I lasted three months is absolutely awesome. So. And have you patched Galen yet? <laughs> oh, obviously, yes. <laughs> now, he's he he's in there in the green room waiting for me, so, yeah. So now, because he, he was saying he was going to hook up with you properly because you didn't get to hook up properly Sunday night. Sunday night, yeah, no. Because you two um, were partying too hard. Pa no, we weren't. No, that's what I've heard, and it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't sleep, but just because of yeah. excitement. We were excited, just both of us. We talked the next day, we're like... Did you sit up and watch that movie Max Channel? Yeah. But you and Galen, you and Galen, it's all on. It's going to be full steam ahead. And um, who cares what Mum thinks? Uh, <laughs> no, Mum's really supporting it. Apparently, they've been besties since um, Mum got evicted. Well, since Galen got evicted, they've been um, keeping in contact, which is great. So, mm, if your um, feelings have changed, how awkward! <laughs> <laughs> all right, one way to find out. For the last time this year, let's bring down the lie detector. Claire, you're going to go first. This is the oh. Rove Live Big Brother Lie Detector. Oh. State of the art high tech equipment. All you have to do is simply answer yes or no, and the lie detector will tell us We're everything. We've done this else. in the house. Yes but or no. The house is far more accurate than that. It can sense your breath or whatever that thing was. <laughs> yes or no. During the pro pirate's task, was it distracting that Jamie's Jamie was flying his pants at half mast? <laughs> That's not it was always Every distracting. Day. Yes. Yes. True. <laughs> Even more distracting when you consider the size of his plank. Um, <laughs> that is actually what holds up his pants. We just realised the other day. They were hanging below his belt. His bum and we went, belt does nothing. nothing. We looked at the front and we went, that's why. Maybe it's, it's the muscles they've built up from holding the strings. <laughs> Again, for those young boys watching at home. Thank you. Uh, Claire, uh, you said you, you definitely date David if he wasn't gay. Yes or no, would you date him if he was Darren? No! <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Sorry, Darren. Uh, Darren thought you'd be a perfect wife. Oh, you go. said you'd only marry an orangutan. Yes or no? Is this true love, yeah. then? True love. <laughs> to the orangutan, definitely. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Crystal, if you would like to put on the... Uh, the light, walk, it's the, very high-tech. Be very careful. Walk. Yes? Okay. <laughs> it goes in there. Here we go. Crystal, when your mum left, she told you not to hook up with Galen. So, yes or no, you were sort of hoping Karen would forget to watch Big Brother for the next 12 weeks and never find out. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes or no, your breasts were more lifelike than Rob's eyebrows. True. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, yes or no, did you and Jamie bond after your eyes met in the mirror? <laughs> Jamie only really met with his own eyes uh, pretty frequently. So yes the or no? Um, no. We, we... <laughs> and finally, you said you didn't feel entirely yourself in the house. Yes or no? Was that because you're twenty percent silicon? <laughs> On the show, uh, all the Big Brother housemates will be back uh, with us at the special time of 8.30. Don't miss it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are we all? Time for the Road Live Help Desk. Ooh, I nearly broke my neck. <laughs> Crystal squawking. <laughs> probably still Perry from four can weeks I, ago. Can I say something, please? Yes, can we welcome Adam Richard, everybody, and Michelle Laurie. <laughs> can I say something about David from Big Brother? Yes. Brokeback, you've got to call him Brokeback. Brokeback. I did not elect him the mayor of Poof de Land. <laughs> <laughs> he does not speak for me. He's not king of the faggots, all right? <laughs> Shut up! Poof de Land's a great place. Oh, it's fun. Okay, oh, let's... Say, I want, I'm on the Max bandwagon. I've never heard him speak. Yes. I don't know who he is. 
But oh, if he wins, it'll be hilarious. Anyone who wears an orange shirt with white, a white belt and magic shoes. <laughs> Bring it on. Flex. Bring it on. Oh, Max. Bless. Okay, Max. okay here we go. Let's get straight into it. I hate having to kiss people hello. Do oh. you? I kiss oh. everyone. Yeah, I do a little bit of that too. And it's hard sometimes when you go in, you realise it's hard to save it. It's hard, you know, when you go, you commit. Oh, no, sorry, I was just shaking yeah. your hand. Yeah, you go and they're going to hug and you're... I, I've, yeah. I once had but a horse going to kiss it doing that. <laughs> this is awkward. What if you've already slipped the tongue and they've gone, no? <laughs> go, sorry, I'm a bit forward, my mister. That's a, some sort of assault, I think. Give me that <laughs> George Michael said. in a park. It was... <laughs> oh, here we go. Should you... Here's another question. Should you urinate in the shower? Madonna does. Madonna, Madonna told me, personally, through the television. Uh, <laughs> it clears up tinea. Mm. Now, wait, I didn't know Madonna urinates in the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's she's, for she's it. about it for the shower <laughs> wee. The shower <laughs> wee. Shower wee. But I, I apparently you have to do it before you turn the shower on, otherwise it does nothing for your tinea at all. <laughs> it's just oh, sort of but now, weird. No, 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 no. See, because then it's almost like, why bother being in the shower? You're just peeing on your feet. There's something about... <laughs> it's at least if the shower's running, cream. you've got that feeling of it's... There's a great quantity of water and a tiny percentage of wee in comparison. <laughs> I suppose you don't have to be in the shower. Feel free to wee on your feet anytime you want. <laughs> Anything cool, to do with tinea. I'm cool, man. You know, in most, sh most showers, there's a toilet nearby. You know, why, not, why not pee into the big bowl with the water? With the <laughs> From the shower. From the shower? Yeah. Yeah. Three Three point point land. Land. Three point <laughs> land. I like it. Here's an interesting one. If someone invites you to their birthday party, are you obligated to invite them to yours? Only if you go. Oh, if you take up uh, their invitation. Yeah, if you go to the party, you have to invite them to yours. Otherwise, it's like, oh, I'm washing my hair, I can't make it. <laughs> Can you get away with that one? I, I do, do surprisingly hair. enough. <laughs> washing my hair, not that. There's, a, there's, always, there's, always, there's always a percentage of people at the party you don't really want there. Yeah. That's, that's, that's but true, sometimes that's a fact it's, it's, it's also, there's an obligation of, you know, um, if you invite one person within an inner circle of friends, you almost have to invite the equivalent person on the, another circle of friends. Yeah, you know, it's like if, you're, yeah. like if you're planning a wedding or something, if you yeah. invite one yeah, uncle, yeah. like on one side, you have to invite the same uncle equivalent on your mother's side, for example. Yeah, yeah. It's, very, it's very problematic. We, I've gone through the wedding listing as well. I'll tell you what's good when you're inviting people, and I had a few friends who broke up with their girlfriends, as we do, and I was rats. I was yeah. like, <laughs> do not get back with them. We're saving on numbers. Thank you very much. <laughs> People who would then turn around and go, oh, but now I've got a new girlfriend, can I invite them? No! no. And the, other, the other thing is, when they come without the old girlfriend that you hated, I had a situation where a friend of mine broke up with a girlfriend, we had a party and we all went, oh, we all called her Shark Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, guess what? Your mum started it. <laughs> and then they got back together. <laughs> and he knew That's about the Shark Eyes. Now, where did Shark Eyes come from? Is that because every time she, she went to just... bite someone, they rolled back in her head? No. <laughs> Just oh, dead, look, the, dead the, behind the eyes. The nerds would find that very funny. Yeah. Claire, the animal expert, yeah. Yeah. found that one funny. I was once invited to a party and I didn't get invited to the next party and I think it all came down to this one uh, situation where I was... Because normally at a party people put out... They put out chips and yes. cakes and things like that. And cakes? Sometimes... Cakes. Well, I don't know if that's our cake. <laughs> we were, we were 12. <laughs> which, which lawn bowl club you had? But, you know, it's not like party pies. What are party pies? That doesn't make it any better. It's roll, it's yeah. berry bread. But, you know, it's not... You know, sometimes you might just feel like something a little healthier, perhaps. And I grabbed a piece of fruit from the fruit bowl oh. that was sitting in front of me on the coffee table. And the person next to me went, you can't take fruit from the fruit bowl. Why not? I said, it's there. It's, it's not on, it was, if it was plastic fruit and you're warning me. It's a bit me, nutty though, isn't it? Everyone else is a bit of a dip and a bit of it. And this one's, whoa. <laughs> 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 I, think, I think we found the king of the poofs. So yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> poofs the <laughs> God, why, why? What's your favourite song, right? Oh, it is, uh, well, I do, in I like dancing to Dancing Queen by Abba. <laughs> I love singing Footloose by Kenny Loggins. Yeah. He's gay. He <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What's Homer's line? I'm not gay, but I'll learn. <laughs> uh, thank you uh, very much, Pete, Adam and Michelle. Yeah.